Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Orwell, a game by Surprise Attack, and we are going to be playing as a detective trying to stop attacks and stop or find the attackers uh, during terrorist events. So let us go ahead and create our account. Congratulations, you have been selected for the Orwell test phase. Please create your profile. Okay, I'll go ahead and say uh, Cypher Deck, spaced out. Yep, yep. And um, we will choose um, this young gentleman here. And uh, that is not something that pertains to me specifically. Okay, be dil um, okay. Be diligent. Your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdictions of the nation. Well, I agree to that. Yeah. So I don't know how this is going to begin. I just know that um, we are going to be investigating situations, and um, yeah, so I'm interested in how this game is going to uh, pan out because I like researching things. Okay, Freedom Plaza, April 12, 2017, at 7:48. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. If, okay. I don't know if you guys saw it, but if there's somebody who gets hurt next to that tower there in the middle, I saw a guy who had a backpack on walk towards that thing. So I'm not, I'm not saying anything, but I saw a backpack. Freedom Pl Okay. So here we go. I'm not seeing the individual who had the backpack. It was a black backpack, I believe. And, um... Ooh. Yep. Yep, yep. The other, uh, the other thing was is that they showed that there was a woman who had a, um, a police record. Hmm. The clock's uh, the clocks were striking 13. Okay, April 13th. We're all... Uh, you're online. Good. Call me Siamese. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. For the test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants for uh, from across the globe. Ooh, normally congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from the footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated your reader tool right here. Uh, reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks um, to online websites and documents for, uh, for ease of access and, in, <clears throat> and to highlight um, highlight when there is a new uh, is okay wait a minute. and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. Okay, first I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay. So we'll go into the reader. Um, the National Beholder, the TNB, here. Okay. Bomb obliterates freedom. Okay. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I have actively uh, activated the person, uh, the profile. Open the unknown person file once you've, uh, once you're done. Okay, bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Let's get into this. Because this is going to be where the information is. Detonation 
Destroy is the Freedom Memorial in Bolton. Okay, that's that's good to hear. This is going to be the base of the information. At approximately 7:50 on Wednesday evening, an epi- uh, an explosion, uh, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom pl- uh, Plaza in Bot. Uh, it's weird. I want to say Boston in Boton. Accordingly uh, to official police reports, three people were killed. Oh and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance, 10 uh, seconds away, Uh, or 10 seconds of time passing between that lady getting into the bus and driving away is pretty short distance i would say using a cell phone signal so if we can find that uh, her cell phone we can verify if that was actually used uh, if the bomb has any viable um evidence police report uh, reports also confirmed that several hours earlier an anonymous letter containing the first three uh, stanzas of german uh, of an of the F- german folk song die good um like ger duncan ger duncan send uh send here uh <laughs> it's been so long since i've actually um uh, read german uh, since I was five, actually. Um, the thoughts are free. The thoughts are free. Maybe this is the, um, the uh, like, a, a, a group of people who believe that um, this memorial was um, taking away the, the, the uh, thoughts of people. Like, the fact that we are actually able to see the information of people as people are walking by. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Um, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine uh, immediately issued a, um, a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the, nas- uh, the nation, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the national on uh, the nation on, yeah, on high alert until the, um, perpetrators have been brought to justice. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and close this we still have more whatever let's go ahead and open this right here okay so we kind of have her hair is correct it seems like okay the profile holds all known information on those we investigate the file you have open is for our main suspect the blue haired woman that the cctv footage shows before the assault is no stranger to police take a look at the arrest record okay thank you for the convenience of the arrest record highlighted elements of the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted we call this data chunk okay yep however over the data chunks will reveal the relevance of uh, to the case and any connections uh, or information it may influence. Okay. Dragging and dropping the data chunk from the police uh, database into the profile to upload them to our servers. Got it. Okay, so well, we want her name, of course. Get that as well. Okay. Very good. Pictures and names are cr- um, crucial information for well to identify a person. Information in documents can only uh, become a data chunk when it it, it can clearly be assigned to be uh, to a target person. Okay, and the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has uh, just been unlocked. We'll need to be the. Uh, we'll need this information to progress. Assault of a police officer. Before we do that, let's actually read this because I feel that we're going to get to a point where we're um, having to go back and reread things because we're just putting data chunks in and not actually reading what's going on. So June tenth, twenty sixteen. This is uh, happened. 
um, today, which is April 13th, 2017, so one year ago, um, approximately around the same um, time of the year, a uh, suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protester at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on um, on the group was found kneeling and weeping on the group when asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back the suspect cooperated immediately okay so apparently they they um they knew what they did but they didn't want to yeah okay got it data chunk it related document good with data you extracted from the police report a new document can now be accessed thank you very much now let me ask you a question do you believe in confidence um, I do not find uh, the data okay so they is that me saying I don't or is that him saying I don't I kind of say yes I, I do I do not find uh, find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean okay Okay, here we go. So this is a document about this individual um, and the assault. Again, let's read here because um, titles are misleading sometimes. The case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra W. Pictured above. Okay, that's from the same picture. Um, who had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim in the head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza, which is relevant because of the fact that the location as part of a demonstration against the newest amendment to the government's model project, the safety bill. Okay, protest at the Freedom Plaza turned violent two weeks ago. Photo, J okay, so there's a photo of it. Uh, due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused uh, woman, uh, Cassandra W., who is an artist by profession. Okay, that's going to be relevant, so let's go ahead and grab this data. Uh, let me move. Let me move. <laughs> okay. Um, the exact same location as the assault. Then, um, then she turned up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. Are you sure? Are you speculating? As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should uh, find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we are really dealing with. Continue. Got it. Um, she's an artist. So that might be relevant because uh, her profession. Oh, yes. One of uh, one who does street art by blowing uh, memorials to pieces. That's uh, not funny, but I understand that. Okay. Um, great. You found another document before we go on. Just uh, let's just clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the information um, I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going to uh, I'm going into the case blind. The Orwell uh, Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of the target persons. Advisors um, like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request actions. This reminds me of a movie. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. Got it. 
you may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress onto the case. Okay. All right. So we got more information. Um, port dot folio. Um, Harboring outstanding art. K painters, Cassandra Watergate. I mean, we can add that picture if we want to. Not that it really matters. Uh, oh, and hey, we don't want her to look nice. We want her to look at what she is at the moment. And that is a suspect. Okay, I'm a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland. Yeah, let's disable that. That's not going to be important. Um, right beyond the rainbow. Glad you found me. Finally, uh, finally found the courage to quit my old job. Focus on career. Okay, that's definitely going to be important because uh, we need to find out what her previous career is. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what that job was. Okay. And put my stuff on port.folio. Below you'll find the handpicked selection. Okay. Okay, this will allow us to um, grab information from our contacts probably. Okay, good. You found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear any conversations on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear uh, whenever they are started. So right here. Okay, um, let's see. Sandra's gallery, my uh, beloved ball, uh, fur ball, kick echo, kick echo, kick echo, kick echo. Um, love to, okay, this isn't relevant. Uh, yep, um, uh, that butte is me. I was never sure about the title though, the businessman's daughter. Okay, we definitely want to, that's important. Because um, they are business, uh, the businessmen, okay, um, or victim of traditionalism in pink. Ooh, that's kind of deep. Okay, a Christmas present for my darling. Uh, I think that's relevant. Um, maybe if we uh, remember who this picture here, maybe it will be relevant later on. Maybe they are part of the whole reason she has been uh, cased out to be the intended suspect we never know anyway oh we got the listener going on here we go unknown person hey you hey Josie I can't seem to find my credit card I assume you took it right uh you got me Sherlock Hey, I'm in the middle of buying all of Burton with that platinum card lifted from your desk. That's going to be important. Let's go ahead and grab that now. Um, can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley... Okay, that's going to be important. Um fearless attorney and all-round badass have in mind this time probably just a business call from one of his favorite clients actually yes that's exactly what okay so they're just talking about them they're okay so she sold the card maybe we can find out information as far as that goes if you're able to find out who she's talking about uh we could lock it um lock it for uh for the owner okay we'll do that um let's see she actually said for joseph langley right here um wait she stole the card from her lawyer really uh, well we should be able to track the credit card of this langley down and lock it for him okay done no, really, no need to thank me, <laughs> Mr. Langley. <laughs> I got it. Uh, you now have a profile uh, for 
the related person, it can be accessed via the profiler. Okay, data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and um, can only be extracted into the relevant profiles. Okay, so Big Pharma, this is probably going to be for her, I would say. Okay, well, we left off up here. Can't stop me now. Wine, probably just okay. Actually, yes, that was exactly what uh, is going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought, um, I thought as much. Great. I better pick up, uh, <laughs> pick up, sh uh, pick up shitloads of wine. You'll, uh, you'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all of that business. <laughs> oh my goodness. One bottle should do fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't uh, pick up some of those uh, party pills from Big Farm, um, aka my parents then. Oh, Watergate Farm Entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. Okay. Maybe that's relevant to who she, her job previously, maybe? Um, okay. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when were we going, uh, when are you going to tell them about us? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe gotta go now. Text you later. XO, XO. <laughs> yeah, that's um, a cop out, I guess you would say. All right. Um, procedures closing products. So there's, uh, okay, procedures closing. Okay. Procedure closing raises manipulations uh, suspension. Uh, in, okay. Okay. Orwell informs me uh, you just enter conflicted data chunks. Whenever the, um, the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the other will become invalid immediately. Okay, I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of, of that conflict before you proceed, though this is, uh, this is uh, your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse the, your choice. Okay, so... Do we want to continue here, or do we want to first go over to uh, Mommy and Daddy's site? Okay, so products, they are a pill creating company. Let's go ahead and check out the company. Oh, this is what, okay. Company, the name Watergate has been uh, inseparable from uh, progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than uh, 85 years, Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine and at the same time it is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world the business uh, watergate for uh, Fardusu, uh, Fardus pharmaceuticals incorporated has been in the hands of the watergate family owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931 all right in the hands of the Watergate family. So she is part of the Watergate family. Okay, Bruno Watergate, that's her father, uh, CEO of Watergate. Uh, Dr. Alice Watergate, head of research and development, her mother. Um, yes. And uh, oh, this is Cassandra, yes. Um, you could tell by her facial features before um, even seeing this. So she was a junior C uh, CCO. Uh, appointed to be a CCO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and junior CCO seems quite odd. She um, she also mentions she had quit her quit adult job, didn't she? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in there because that's definitely. Uh, Alice uh, Bruno's daughter. Uh, now I see keeping it in the family. Okay, we got that. Got that information. Okay, let's oh, document that you have already reviewed. Maybe updated from 
time to time. Okay, the reader is uh, will notify you when it happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. Will do. We still have um, a few more tabs on here. Ooh, jobs. Okay, Watergate Farm Schools is currently looking for a suitable candidate for the following positions. Please address. Ooh, <laughs> yep, that's that's it right there. Um, yep. Uh, so they are looking for a CCO or a COO. So she is not working for them anymore. Or maybe I was wrong. <laughs> and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. Uh, this is probably what she meant by quitting her job. Good. Okay. So is that all the information I can get from this? I'm guessing. Okay. Products company. We got all that. All right. So before we went into that, we went... Here, wasn't there something else that was or I took care of this took care of both of those okay okay this one right here investigation into the okay there we go uh, button um, button the case that has been at the center of, uh, of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of being a, uh, of the alleged assault against an officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence. Yesterday, however, the case might be reported... Um, Reopen, sorry, should new evidence be discovered. Okay, before we go on here, I want to check out the new information as per the headlines. Ooh, okay. So, let's see here. Um, on Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security published a new crime st uh, statistic report of the preceding year according to the report the number of, uh, of recorded criminal offenders offenses decreased by 4.8 percent in comparison to last year the crime uh, rates have been continually declining over the past several years as direct result of the implementation of the safety bill of course um is there anything in here that would be relevant though people doesn't look like anyone we've seen um mr gallagher one of the most seasoned of the party she is the one who actually said that she was the terror she was a terrorist i believe um at the end of the original Peacekeeping mission. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see. Projects. Okay. Positions. This is their code of honor or whatever you want to, and then participate. So that really doesn't have any relevant information. Um. I'm going to say that this is going to be where we're going ahead. This is what I figured. A pity that the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? I do agree. Let's find out what happened in between these two... Um, between these two lives of hers what may have caused the radical shift okay so they have um, oh timeline oh like a facebook feed okay we do need this we don't have it already and uh, that i mean i was gonna say that's not really gonna be in oh that really didn't add to anything here what what a lineup. Okay. Yeah, I was like 
I probably should have posted that because that has nothing to do with uh, the investigation. Okay, so this is the most recent post, it looks like, and that was on March 1st, 2017. Uh, Woohoo! First day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Okay, 12 likes, 2 comments. What? Who's gonna pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Cassandra, okay. Listen, Jake, I'm not Daddy's little girl anymore. My art already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay my uh, pay my bills. Don't you worry about me. Okay. Um, let's see. Cassandra Watergate posted on January, so they're pretty far apart. These these posts. I mean. This is three months later. Um, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do uh, but to gr congratulate you. There, it, um, there, these are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all of you government lackeys. Okay, before I stop there, I want to go ahead and definitely get... Uh, let's see... Let's get into this portion. Let's keep... Yeah, let's actually... Let's do this. Let's go down to the bottom here and start. Um, let's see. Uh, this is on April 12, 2016. Oh, uh, oh, la, la. Oi, oi, nan. <laughs> Having an amazing shopping tour with um, my, with my Mary. Uh, the best friend of all times. We'll add that as a contact. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> but you really should consider paying, um, paying a visit to your hairstylist. And yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh -huh, uh, okay. This. Wait a minute. Is this all correspondence between these two? So we. What we're doing now is we're actually looking at. Um, how from here the conversation went away from her and it's like okay so that's what we're looking at now is um so this is the next post just discovered that hot new uh band the targets man do they rock hard love um i love their playing a concert in the cell next week Who's coming along? Uh, punks? No, not really my style. Sorry, Cass. Can't we just go see Cherry uh, Cheek sometime? Um, they are not just some punks. Their leading lead singer is a real cutie, and they have my have this cool guitarist girl. Plus, they're uh, they've got a message. What? Uh, what's not not to like? No, sorry, it's not for me. Bah, all right, you're <laughs> you're the one missing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it. Okay, now we're getting some information. Um, I mean, this is. I guess we can throw that picture in there. It's a picture. Um, uh, <laughs> this is in July of 2016. Uh, that concert was amazing. So amazing that I just had to give my hair a little makeover. So without further ado, how do you, oh, this is prior to her changing her hair and now she's changed her hair because of the situation of the, of the concert. Oh my God, what happened to your beautiful hair? Why didn't you ask me before going to a stylist? We should, uh, we could have gone together. Uh, Cassie going punk. Did mommy and daddy agree to that? Uh, he always is mommy and daddy about it. <laughs> He's always picking on her. Looks nice. That's um, that's a whole uh, whole new you. You'll also need a new name. Then what about Casar? Uh, oh, Casar? Oh, Casar? Casarthus? I guess is what. Uh, that's clever. Uh, me likey. Um, Hopefully, so henceforth, Cassandra shall be known as the um, to the world as oh, Juliet. Uh, okay, wait a minute. 
had her alias name suggest to, to her by doing that, create a new profile, Julia. Um, is that really relevant? I don't know yet. Um, that's the spirit kiddo. Now I'd like to invite you to our little, ah, uh, there we go. If you want to join us, an activist group, is there anything more, uh, specific? Okay. I'm guessing. Oh, wait a minute. I'll, I'll get to that. Um, so hits for uh, this. Does this, I mean, we can add that, but I doubt that's going to be relevant to the situation. Uh, an alias name, you know, people on the web, so many names, so many identities. Yeah. It's always good to uh, record every alias. Then when, uh, then we can, okay. So it wasn't, uh, a bad data chunk to upload target person whenever they are using them. Okay. Let's go up before this one. This is where we start to see him a lot. Or uh, not a lot, but we start to see him. Okay. Cassandra Watergate posted. Okay. Case closed on that whole situation. So, wait a minute. Did this happen uh, whenever... When, when, was, when was the date of that? I'll have to double check. But, um... So, she did this during this situation I'm guessing and then now um congratulations I never had any doubts about it kiddo you're my heroine uh hero heroine in both the heroic and the drug way <laughs> a thousand caves on the plaza but no proof we'd uh we've shown the world's dirty surveillance machinery only exists uh, <laughs> okay. The beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this shit, but surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculations over my parents buying me out. Makes, um, makes the clicks count go boom, doesn't it? Mm hmm. I mean, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Let's go back. All right, so pretty much we're caught up. Cassandra is in a relationship. Oh, we found the relationship. Joseph Langley. Oh, wait a minute. We already know that. With her lawyer? Hmm, might be noteworthy. We already know it, though. I mean, it's not really that noteworthy because uh, we've already talked about it. Okay, so then we have this situation... Yeah, that really has no relevance into this. Did I already add this? Probably not. All right. Well, Miss Watergate, you're not too. Uh, we're not too fond of you either. Okay, so let's listen to this. Um, we need to go back to here, and this is another session. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know I have a history with that with that place. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories and now I was there just moments before this happened. Uh, I never should have gone to that damn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I was so happy when the, uh, when God else is accepting, accepted me into, um, me into the thought, into thought. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause think of it this way if you would have not gone to the protest then you would have never been wrongfully indicted uh, and then you would never have met yeah okay okay there's a lot of conversation going on between these two never 
met right there yeah I would I would not have um, been called called a terrorist in all the papers you're not a terrorist okay uh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Come on, stop. Let me, let me read the rest of it. Jeez, your card's not working here. Can't buy anything. Um, have you gone bankrupt or something? Unless you went uh, on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. I guess, well, uh, we'll have to go without the line then. Um, here's the thing. Oh, I got an important, um, appointment. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna let this finish because, I, and I'm not reading this because I want to read this situation because whenever you start saying this kind of stuff, that's when things go in a weird way, I think. Um, here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprise, um, surprisingly out of schedule and I can't postpone it. You've got to be kidding me. I'm I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. Appointments here, appointments there, appointments every fucking where. How can you... Uh, constantly? Oh, I think I, spell, I found a uh, spelling error. I'll have to... Uh, send an email to them. Anyway, uh, how can you constantly do that to me? Darling, please just calm down. Have you taken your medicine? On medicine. Oh, meth um, This is the medicine that we need to definitely add on. Okay, what is meth -room? Can you look it up for me? Yes, I can. Um, uh, actually, wasn't that a pain pill? If I remember correctly? Um, let's go back up here because there was more that... Um, let's see. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch the bus from there every day. Catch his bus at Freedom Plaza every day. Okay, so this may take her off the suspect tree. Uh, meaning her presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all. Um, I'll reserve my thoughts until I find more evidence. Um, I was so happy... That Goldfeld accepted me. Uh, okay, Goldfeld's co-member of uh, a thought, member of a group called Thought. That's might be interesting. Um, an activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. And who is Goldfeld? Fell. Wait a minute. Wasn't that in her? I have to double check. When uh, we should find something that shows her current attitude, and see if there's um, if they're if we're following the right person. Okay, um, da -da -da -da. we're here. Have to go. Yes, damn it. This is is that uh, is the only thing that matters to you that I'm on fucking happy pills all day. Darling, please, this is, it's nothing like that, and you know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever... Okay, maybe she, it's not a misspelling. Maybe it's just that she's uh, paraphrasing. Whenever you leave me hanging, if I don't show up for this appointment, I risk losing a very, imp a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh, oh no, I totally understand don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now. Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm just not an, uh, an important client enough. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case, um, in case I'm getting, uh, uh, in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon, please. And then the end. So first off, we need to check a few things. Okay, there's that, but we need to go back to here. Um, positions, people, projects. 
Oh, this is the wrong thing. Uh, we need to go back to here, products. Methylin is uh, the pain pill. Yeah, oh, oh, it's antidepressant. A spiron that I was thinking of. Uh, I wonder if her adverse attitude towards the salt is actually worth uh, anything then. Uh, perhaps emotions were high if she's uh, reliant on this medicine. Okay, looking at what you have extracted so far, we're dealing with um, a potentially dangerous personality. I will indicate um, I will indicate that to the law enforcement. Ooh, I mean that's kind of uh, that's kind of weird. Um, uh, does she have anything new on her timeline? Uh, nope, of course not. Okay, overview. Something new here. What is that? TMB headlines. I mean, I thought we went over everything here, unless this is. No, I mean, all right. Let's go to here. This is the thoughts. Uh, the thoughts are free. If, li uh, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. The thought of review of freedom. Oh my goodness. Am I going to have to read this entire thing? Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end here. Uh, there's a lot of information that we're having to go through to uh, solve this case. But just to show you, here's the tree that we have uh, thus far. All of our friends, um, acquaintances, boyfriend, and so on. Um, and we will go ahead and continue next time. I know this is probably a long episode, but we're going to go ahead and try to get these done uh in as um in a good time but i feel that it might be a little bit longer before this one is over so thank you so much for watching this is cypher deck and i'll talk to you next time peace out